Wow. This is Beatrice Toyer reporting from Miami, Florida. The U.S. paid Katsuma Ozo the $17 million. Today, while listening to Matende Ba, I and my brother found out that the U.S. government paid the $17 million ransom to the terrorist group Katsuma Ozo for the release of the 17 American hostages. Concerning this, I have two concerns that I need to express. Firstly, why would anybody in their right mind decide to go on an evangelical mission in IT? Haven't you watched the news or inquire about the unstable situation there? IT is a failed state where it seems that each arrondissement of the Département de l'Ouest has their own gang ruling over the population. Haven't you heard about the violent gangs raping nuns and burning down churches? Which is why I am very suspicious that whomever cats and mouse were captured weren't on an evangelical mission. I'm suspicious that they were not regular citizens. And it kind of confirms it by the fact that the ransom was paid so quickly and in full. Isn't it standard that the U.S. government doesn't negotiate with terrorists? Secondly, why would the U.S. government pay a violent terrorist group $17 million? A group that you know is recruiting more violent criminals that you have deported in Haiti and that you have furnished assault weapons and tented window vehicles. If it isn't the U.S. government, then how come you let that happen? Then you train the local police and your military goons there to terrorize the population. It is very regular that the DA picks up violent gangbangers and drug dealers. Therefore, you can possibly tell me that the U.S. government then noticed the terrorist menace growing in Kwadebuke. Thirdly, the way Casamalzo strategized the kidnap of the 17 American victims makes me think that maybe there is another foreign power interfering in Haiti. In order to avoid, I believe, an imminent assault from the Americans, Katsumauzo split the hostages and dispatched them in several parts of the country, making it very difficult to locate any of them. I didn't see that coming because I was seriously concerned about the safety of Croix de Bouquet resident if the United States would have planned an assault and rescue. It's not that I don't feel compassion for the American victims, but I am very perplexed of why they would decide to go on an evangelical mission there. And the fact that the U.S. government paid so quickly the ransom makes me even more suspicious that they were not regular civilians. They were from the deep state. Finally, why would the U.S. agree to pay a terrorist group $17 million? Why would you distribute that kind of money to them, even if La Mosso threatened to kill them, if he didn't get the ransom money? Do you even realize what you have just done? You just fed the demonic beast that will grow even more dangerous and destructive in all the Caribbean. You just pay the ISIS of the Caribbean. Now we have to see how this group will spread because if they are recruiting criminals, kidnapping and extorting people, it means that they're planning to expand probably in all the country and maybe all the island of Haiti. Especially if the leader of the said that his reign of terror can reach beyond the outskirts of Haiti. And that he can order the execution of anybody anywhere in the Americas or Europe. Which begs the question, what have you done, America? What have you done? This is Beatrice Noel reporting from Miami, Florida. Thank you for listening and stay tuned.